Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. So it appears that a potential fight between Canelo and Badu Jack for Badu Jack's cruiserweight title appears to be off, according to Badu Jack. Now, allegedly, Badu Jack said that the fight with Canelo is not going to happen because Canelo wants to fight Badu Jack at a catch weight of 20 pounds. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not 10, but 20 pounds under the catch weight limit. And also, uh, Canelo wants a rehydration clause in the fight. So basically, uh, Canelo is a serious and basically Canelo is basically trying to take shortcuts and circumvent his way to a, another uh, title. But then his fans will say he should get full credit and he's making history. You know, if Canelo can't make the weight, then don't try to fight at that weight. And this is a long history of Canelo, you know, doing this kind of stuff. You know, I knew something was strange about this. I knew that Canelo wasn't going to be brave enough to try to fight at the full-fledged, uh, you know, weight limit of cruiserweight, which can be anywhere from uh, maybe 190 or something like that to uh, approximately maybe 200 pounds, depending on who's going to sanction this fight. Uh, so this is just typical of Canelo. Um, and this is why people criticize Canelo, but then you'll have people saying that Canelo will fight anybody and all this kind of stuff. Um, no, Canelo has always done this. Now, before anybody come on here and say, well, what about Tank? We ain't talking about Tank. This video isn't about Tank. Okay. We're talking about the Mexican. We're talking about the Mexican fighter. No other way to put it than to put it in those terms because you guys will try to bring up something else and we're not talking about something else we're talking about this particular subject so i'm cutting you guys off before you even put that in the comment section if anybody put that in the comment section your comment will be erased and you will be blocked stick to the damn subject we're talking about canelo he has a long history of doing this stuff trying to control people's weight and then he uh, tries to circumvent and makes up his own weight class. So how the hell are you fighting for a title if you allegedly want this dude to come in at 20 pounds under the, the weight limit? That's not a real t title fight. And then you trying to weight drain the dude. So it's like this. This is making Canelo look really bad right now. And the diehard Canelo fans can't keep like trying to justify this stuff and i'm gonna say this again we talking about canelo we're not talking about anybody else because i'm tired of having these conversations where people say well what about what about so and so nobody says nothing yeah actually we we do because actually i did have a problem with tank putting in all those stipulations with ryan garcia so one thing about me i call it right down the middle I don't care for catchweight fights too much, but it's bad enough as a catchweight fight. But then when you're trying to control somebody's weight, that make it look even worse. And I'm tired of hearing this stuff about cash cow and all this kind of stuff. No, you're just trying to take a shortcut. And you're trying to come in there with a unfair advantage to your opponent. But then you will sit up there and say you making history. You making suggestive loophole. You know, you know what I'm saying? Questionable history asterisk attached to the history you trying to create so let's just keep it a buck um if this indeed is true about canelo this is a real weak move and it was kind of funny i was listening to an interview where eddie Hearn was talking about canelo has earned the right to fight whoever he wants to fight uh i beg to differ i don't know about that i think that sounds pretty weak because if that's the case then based off the fact that floyd fought all these former champions, how come everybody bitched, whined, and moaned about who Floyd, you know, chose to fight? Which there is question marks about Floyd's opponent's selection. You know, we can all, at the end of the day, we can always question somebody's opponent's selection. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> because, you know, unfortunately, uh, boxing isn't ran by organization. 
you know, pretty much is put together by promotional companies and TV networks. So, and sanctioning bodies for titles and they pick who they want to make the number one, number two, or the mandatory. So, you know, it's, it's just different. But anyway, with that being said, like, this is just a real weak move in Canelo, if this is true. But he has a history of doing this, so I have no other reason to believe this isn't true. So, same old Canelo. Anyway, this is your boy Tam Biz. I'm out.